Hey guys, Janelle here today on the blog and I am here with a house cleaning tip today. I want to show you guys how to clean up your Photoshop brushes. Um, I don't know how many of you are like me, but I am totally and completely a digital hoarder and I especially love brushes. As soon as I see them in a kit, I load them up and I use them as much as I can for that kit, but then I kind of forget about them and they have just been piling up and piling up and they're taking up a lot of space and they actually, I've discovered, um, when I open my program, they take quite a while to load up in the program. So it's kind of slowing me down, it's dragging, and it's time for me to clean house. So I decided I would teach you guys how to clean up your brushes as well. So go ahead and open up your Photoshop if you haven't already. We're going to go to the brush tool and you can hit that um, by clicking the brush tool or selecting B on your keyboard. And then we're going to go up here to our brush menu and we're going to click the drop down arrow. Um, and you can, you can see it will hover over and say click to open the brush preset picker and that's exactly what you want. And here I've got all of my brushes. and. We're going to make this bigger by clicking and dragging so that I can really show you guys what an awesome hoarder I am. Um, here are all my brushes. And yours may look a little different um, the way that it's set up. If you do, um, click this arrow right here, you can change the way that your brushes are shown to you. So you can do it by name, text only, um, a small thumbnail which will give you a little image. Obviously you can see more of them that way or the large thumbnail was what I had originally. A small list with the brush as well as the title. Large list, same thing, only of course larger. And then a stroke thumbnail, which um, shows you what the brush looks like when it is dragged across the page or painted or stroked on a brush. Um, any of those and that's what this will look like. I'm going to stick with my large thumbnail. I like that. But I'm going to show you how to go ahead and let's clean up our brushes. So click on this arrow right here. And what we want to do is go to our preset manager. And that is where we can make all the changes. If you try and delete something here, um, you can, but you can't hold down more than one. I'm hitting the shift key and trying to click and it's not letting me do that. So make sure that you go to your preset manager. And your system may look a little different. I'm working in CS5. I haven't quite made that jump to Creative Cloud yet, so but it should all be relatively the same. And you can, in this preset manager, you can organize your brushes. Um, so if you would like a different set of brushes to show up at the top, you can do that. For example, let's say I wanted these... Um, Kind of these artsy paint smear brushes at the top. I would click the first one that I want and then hold down the shift key and click the last brush that I want and then if I click and drag I can move them up to the top or if you want to take them to the bottom or if you just want to throw them in the middle um, anywhere it doesn't matter you can decide where you want to put it so if I load them up right there then when I open my brushes these ones here will be at the top for me to see. Um, now, uh, you can also reorganize. I came across I had several alpha brushes, and I decided that I wanted to move those all to one spot altogether. So if I was looking for alphas, I could just go to them and see them. And I actually just did that before I started making the video. Um, I've got a bunch of day stamps here for project lifestyle layouts. And I just am kind of realizing I really like these brushes, so I want to make sure that I keep them and have access to them later, but I definitely do not need all of them loaded up in my program at all times. So the first thing that I want to show you what, how to do is let's say I want to save all of these alpha stamps together in one file. So if I decide that I, hey, I want uh, a bunch of alphabet brushes, I can go ahead and load them all up and there they will all be. So I just did that by clicking the first one, holding the shift key, and then clicking the last, and you can see that it has selected all of my alpha brushes. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click save set. Now, I have saved brushes before, so mine opens up to where I've saved them. If you have not, it is going to open up a default Photoshop folder. I would highly recommend changing the location of, um, of the brushes that you want to save to somewhere outside of the program. If you lose your program and you've saved your settings within, you will lose your settings as well. So I would choose your desktop, make um, some standard folder where you are going to know um, 
where they're at. And if you lose your program, you don't lose your presets because I'm speaking from experience and that has happened to me and it was terrible. <laughs> so go ahead and just rename them. I'm just going to call these the alpha brushes and say enter. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete them. There's no reason for me to keep them. I've saved them. I'll go ahead and say delete. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up here. Um, you can see I've got lots more brushes. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and save more of them in sets. Um, so for example, these are all my days of the week brushes. I could come over here and click save set, rename them days of the week. Um, but that's really not necessary. I'm going to go ahead and delete. So I'm going to grab this bottom one and I am actually going to come all the way to the top and delete everything. I've already pre-saved it. So I've got everything somewhere else. Go ahead and click delete. And there you go. Your brushes are completely and totally cleaned out. Nice, fresh start. Um, and now if you want to, you could go ahead and load up some of your brushes so we can say load and um, it will go ahead and pull up the folder from the last place that you loaded. If I wanted some of these days of the week brushes, um, I could load them back up and there they are. I'm going to go ahead and delete them because I do not want them. Um, but you're wondering, well, what about all of the preset brushes that Photoshop came with? What do I, how do I get those back? And I'm going to go ahead and show you. So I'm going to say done here and I'm going to go back into my brushes. I'm going to click the drop down arrow to open my brush preset picker and then click this right arrow here. And this time I'm going to say, you can say reset brushes and that will give you all of the default Photoshop brushes. And there they are. So you don't have to worry about losing those. Um, you can also right click and you can see down here and I'm sure Creative Cloud probably has some different ones. They may have more or they could be the same. I'm not sure, but you can load up different sets of brushes that Photoshop has as well. Even though these were the brushes that came preloaded, it's not everything that is available to you. There is more. So you can go ahead and say, um, assorted brushes and it will ask you do you want to replace the current brushes or do you want to append them and if you say okay it will take the brushes that you've just loaded and only load those it will get rid of all of the ones that are already here so I will usually say append um, just so that it will add them instead of replacing what I've already got and you can see it's given me some new funky brushes here. There's some stars and, and just uh, new brushes, just fun things that you can kind of play around with. Uh, we can load up our basic brushes. And again, I'm gonna say append, or if you want to, let's go ahead and say, okay, replace the brushes. And you can see what it does there. It gets rid of everything else and it just loads these up. And it's just kind of a nice way to keep it clean and fresh. Um, so your standard, your hard and soft brushes. And I would recommend that you come over here and just kind of play. Um, it's really fun to see what brushes they do have and, you know, things that you, that you may not have been aware of. So, um, and then if you want to load up your brushes again, uh, from a previous set that you have just saved, instead of going to, um, excuse me, instead of choosing one of these, if you just say load brushes, it will bring up brushes from where you were at previously, where you saved or loaded from last. And I can go ahead and say, yeah, let's save those or let's load up those alpha brushes. And there they go, all here. Um, so it makes it nice and easy. And again, if you decide that you're done with them after your layout, you don't want them to slow down your machine, you can click, shift and click, oh, ha except you have to be in the preset manager in order to delete um, more than one brush at once. Click, drag, shift and click and delete. And you can see that I've just got those um, standard brushes, not standard, but the ones that I loaded up there. So there you have it, how to uh, clean out your brushes, move them around, reload them, save them. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll make sure and get in touch with you. Hopefully this was something helpful. Hopefully it will make your program run a little faster. Actually, after I deleted all my brushes, I went through and reloaded up Photoshop and it, I couldn't believe how much more quickly it booted up. So it definitely, um, definitely something that you'll want to look into and not just for brushes, those tips will work for your color swatches, your gradients, 
um, styles, anything, anything that you want to do. It's the same basic steps for each of them. And I suggest that you go ahead and play around and see what you can do with it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and we will see you next time.